In Queensland, 13% of the overall population is young people between the ages of 15 and 24. And of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander population, over half are under the age of 25. Well, adolescents and young adults are a very important part of our community. They have their own special needs to be attended to and listened to and understood. And by doing that, they're able to craft individual plans and take grasp of their own care. And we found that that leads to much better health outcomes in the long run. Quality MYA Care really recognises the unique strengths and interests of each young person and is respectful of the fact that at this time in the young person's life they're in a peak kind of learning period and exploration period which means that there's a lot that each young person can add to their own care in terms of their ability to direct their care and be the experts on their own life and their own experience. We try to make sure that it's not full of jargon. We're not just concentrating on disease markers, but how you're actually coping. How are you going with school? How are you going with your hobbies? Are things all right at home and with your friends? There's a whole lot more to you than just that disease. It would really help in this transition to adulthood stage to have some coordinated care, to have one specialty that could take on complex chronic health needs and assist the patient and their carers and family to manage the complexities of the health system, uh, to manage appointments, to liaise with other staff, to think about medication decisions, surgery decisions, hospitalisation decisions together. It's really important for services to be very holistic in their assessments and their treatment plans, to be very opportunistic with different health promotion and disease prevention conversations, um, as well as be very collaborative within their services and external services and other supports for the young person. The benefits of this are not only for the individual, but for the whole community, we end up with happier young adults going into more mature adults that are able to be productive, uh, kind to each other and to their families, and also able to contribute to society.